Now from 12 Sports, this is the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. All right, welcome to the Friday Night Blitz. We are back. Maury Hirsch scoring alongside Taylor Begley. First time in two years, TB, the kids get to play under the lights in the fall, and all is right here in Rhode Island, southeastern yes, Massachusetts. Absolutely. Great environments out there, great fan sections, all yeah. excited to be back in action, and some really great matchups this Friday night across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, and we even had some out-of-town scores. Yeah, we've got it all covered. We also have a mic'd up segment, and we feature a band of the week but first, let's get, go, let's get going on the highlights. We're going to bring in our third member of our team, Rosie Langello, who introduces us to our Game of the Week. Hey, guys. Great to be back and a great matchup for our Week 1 Game of the Week between the East Providence Townies and the Barrington Eagles. The Eagles coming off a D2 championship in the spring. Now, the coaching ties go way back in this one. Townies head coach John Stringfellow coached with head coach of Barrington, Sandy Gorman, at one point. Now, a special night for both coaches and a special night for East Providence playing their first game at their brand new stadium at their brand new high school. Beautiful there. All right, let's get to the highlights. First quarter, Barrington on the one yard line. Quarterback James Anderson keeps it. Eagles go up seven. Second quarter, Townies now on the one yard line. Quarterback Maxwell Whiting keeps it for the score, but the Townies will miss the extra point and no one would score the rest of the game. So the final, Barrington wins by one point, seven to six. All right, low scoring, but at least a good one there. Let's go to Massachusetts. Somerset Berkeley, an awesome student section, one of the many we'll highlight. They were hosting Portsmouth. First drive, Benny Hurd caps it off with a short TD plunge. The do-it-all senior then making some plays on the other side of the ball. Raiders try the halfback pass. Hurd says, not today. He returns the pick deep into the Raiders' territory. Hurd then orchestrates another score. The pitch to Marcus Evans. He beats the pursuit to the pylon. The Patriots pick up an impressive performance, 20-6 to to start the year. South Kingstown hosting Narragansett. The Rebels, they would be driving first here. Quarterback Ryan O'Rourke with an absolute dime to his tight end, Nathaniel and Brad. South Kingstown up early, as expected for a Division I team against a D3 team, but Narragansett, they were not going away easy. The Mariners, they put up a good fight. A couple of opportunities in the red zone, but they could not cash in. A big reason was that South Kingstown defense, 26-14 Rebels the final. With Sal in Staten Island, New York tonight, the Rams dropping an out-of-state game 34-20 to Monsignor Farrell. Jacob Gibbons, two rushing touchdowns for the Rams. Another good atmosphere, this time in Coventry. A couple big heads, some flags, some posters. We love it. Love to Out see it. Out strong against Cranston East at the stadium. Oker's running it early. The handoff to Ger Gerardo Santiago. The big fella rushing to the end zone. He would not be stopped. More than 50 yards. Oker's up 6-0. Coventry's defense would be the difference maker tonight. Aaron Rico Pineda with the sack. Coventry would take this one 14 to 6. Well, the student section at Cranston West, they were having a blast tonight, making Miley Cyrus proud here, party in the USA. We're here for it. It's high school football. It's back. It's a party. West Warwick down 13. Brady Miali, he would answer, throwing the quick slant to Richard Medeos. And uh, yeah, he would not be stopped. 65 yards to the house, and that would make this a 13-7 ball game. But the Falcons would seal the deal. Dimitri LeBlanc breaking not one but two tackles on his way to the end zone. Nobody was stopping him. Cranston West winning this one 20-7. Miley Cyrus, awesome. D1 <laughs> Shea hosting D2 Moses Brown. At Max Reed Field, home team had the lead. They add to it Marquise Gabadon finds Davion Silva, and I don't see a defender within 10 yards Wide of him. Open. Wide open. I like the gloves, too. The lime green gloves. The Statement. defense also doing their part. Emmanuel Lima taking the charge here on the takedown. They recover the ball. Shea shuts out Moses Brown, 17 love. And we go up the street to Pariseau. D2 Tolman hosting D3 Pilgrim. Patriots driving in the red zone on their first possession, but the Tiger defense comes up big. Then second quarter, Patriots, they would hit pay dirt here. Connor Widmer to Brady Blake, he dives in for the score. Pilgrim heads back to Warwick with the 14-12 win. Shout out to Blizzy Blake's squad on the win on the opener. Johnston <laughs> hosting Lincoln, both teams in it until the end. 
Lincoln started with the momentum. Ethan Sexton finds the hole, slips his way into the end zone. It's 12-0 Lincoln in the first half. Panthers got going in the second quarter. Hunter Remington over to Steven Finnegan. And he goes up the left side. Some good blocking using his speed. Outlasts a few defenders. Johnston starts the year off right at home, 22-18. Rose? Hey, guys, another 2-3 matchup in Bristol. Mount Hope and the Central Falls of Blackstone Valley Prep Co-op with an afternoon clash. Home team was driving early. Alex Rodriguez ends the drive, though. The pick in the flat. Big play by Aiden Ramaglia. The quarterback with the nice tackle to prevent a touchdown. Huskies defense, the bigger story. Evan Rodriguez with the sack. David Reinard recovers it. Mount Hope shuts out the Warriors 13-0. All right, moving to Smithfield, the Sentinels hosting Tiverton. Right before halftime, Tiverton's quarterback looking downfield. But what doesn't he see here? Ray Porter coming in hot. Big boy with the big boy sack. Teacher Quiddy Pay? I don't know. Halftime, Smithfield leads 16 0. And during halftime, AJ Hitu told me he would score a touchdown in the third quarter. Well, that man followed through. Hitu taking it 65 yards. To the house, Smithfield crushes Tiverton final 30 nothing. Taylor, all right, to North Providence taking on Davies Tech. The Cougars would strike first. Senior quarterback Christian Almagno up top to a streaking Vince Harris, and they would take an eight nothing lead. Same score, second quarter. Davies sophomore Daniel Rose with the long touchdowns. So Patriots nodded at eight. Third quarter, Almagno with his second touchdown pass here. North Providence would add another two-point conversion, so the Cougars would pull it out 16-14. A patriotic theme out in Ponagansett, paying tribute to the fallen on the eve of 9-11. Chieftain started fast against the Juanita PCD Wheeler Co-op. Christopher Brennan, the QB keeper, he'd do that a couple times. Then he shows what he can do with his arm. Big throw and catch to Tyler Brown. Looks like another good Pano team like the one we saw last year in the D4 title game. A complete domination, 40 to nothing. In Newport, Topa Field, Rogers an early 2-0 lead after a safety on Middletown. Viking QB Darian Piker calls his own number, finds a seam and scores, hosts up 9-0. Back come the Islanders. Their first score of the year through the air. A 25-yard ball to a wide open RJ Wiggins makes it a one-score game once again. But in front of their home crowd, Rogers responds. Piker to a man down the near side. Vikings start the year 1-0 with a 15-7 win. And in Westerly, Stanley Dunbar's Bulldogs put up 34 on Charaho. They cruise to a 16-point win. We are just getting started here on the debut episode of the Friday Night Blitz. When we come back, we head to the Bay State for some highlights and a classic in Attleboro. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. All right, welcome back to the Blitz. Maury Hirsch, Gordon Taylor, Begley, Rosie Langella with us. Let's head to the Bay State now for some highlights and some scores. Great matchups in the Attleboro's. We start with Bishop Fian visiting North at Community Field. Shamrocks had a 10-0 lead. Red Rocketeer, Mr. Do-It-All, Tyler DiMatteo gets three points back. A little field goal love. That'll be a theme coming up in oh, this yeah. block. Bill Belichick likes nice special three teams. Pointers. But Fian D, tough tonight. Big play by Ryan Corio. Tips it, then picks it, sets the rocks up in good territory. A few plays later, Tim D'Ambrosio hands to Corio all the way into your living room. He beats the defense to the goal line. The Shamrocks knock off the Red Rocketeers by two touchdowns. Over to an instant classic in Attleboro. Blue Bombardiers hosting Durfee. 7-7 game in the fourth quarter. Hilltopper defense, they would come up big. The pick returned all the way down the sideline, but he's knocked out inside the five-yard line. Attleboro, a huge goal line stand here. They get the stop on four and half a foot. Unbelievable. That'll get you fired up. A nice defense play. Bill Belichick again loves the defense. Home team, they get the ball back late thanks to Caden Murray. Then with time expiring, Anthony Salviati with the game-winning field goal here. Game-winning field goal. Field goals, they win Super Bowls. We know that. Attleboro tops Derby 10 to 7. We'll, we'll take the same on Sunday with either Quinn Nordine or Nick Falk. 
Seacock yeah. hosting Martha's Vineyard. The Warriors would come out of the gate strong in this one. Jaden Aruda Jr. rolling out of the pocket. Evan Seals with a 40-yard catch. The very next play, Aruda burying his head going up the middle for the sneak. The early 7-0 lead for Seekonk. Martha's Vineyard Regional would not go down without a fight. They make the long trek, so might as well come and play hard. Ty Matthews Redding, the pass picking it off to the two-yard line, but that stop would not be enough. Seekonk holding on to this one, 27-6. Let's fly around for six other scores from southeastern Massachusetts. Taunton 21-0 over New Bedford. Joseph Case edges Diamond Votek 14-8. Dighton Rehoboth clips Canton 15-7 in overtime. Old Rochester soars past Holliston 35-7. And Dartmouth shuts out Bishop Stang 35-zip. Middleborough beats Aponiquit 30-13. Let's head back over to Rosie for our Coach Mike Dup segment. Well, from our game of the week, we mic'd up the townies head coach, John Stringfellow. He's son of William Stringfellow, a legendary coach at EP and in the state of Rhode Island. An emotional night for Stringfellow, and we tried our best to capture all the special moments tonight on tape. Receive team, receive a team. Receive, receive a team. Receive a team. Here we go, down here, down here, down here. Let's go, down here, down here. Here we go, here we go. Nobody better now, nobody better. Hey, stay up to shoot, Mikey. Mikey, stay up the shoot. Jahai, let's go. So I left Lucy, 17, your fullback. Justin, Justin! Turn it up, turn it up! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, you gotta get going! How fast can you get that off? Yeah. How fast can you get it off? Hey, dig in, dig in, no! This. Hey, hold it together. We gotta block the end. Hey, listen, we gotta block the end. Make the blocks. Keep your helmet on. Get off the field. 12. We're going to go slot 12. All right. Slot right 12. Quarterback sneak is, is primary. As soon as you flip, it, flip his butt, just. Hey, you kick. We're going to. Okay. All right. Extra point. Extra point. Extra point. Extra point. What's that? Yeah, don't throw up. Hey. Don't throw up on me. Hey, you having fun yet? Huh? <laughs> All right, great stuff there, Rosie, from John Stringfellow of East Providence. Still to come on the Friday Night Blitz, we feature our band of the week. We also have a check-in on the Patriots, too, before Sunday's opener against the Dolphins. We'll be right back. Well, that will do it for this first edition of the Friday Night Blitz. A reminder, all the highlights you just saw can be seen online, WPRI.com. Mic'd up, band, so all good. that good stuff. <laughs> And speaking of band, we're going to leave you off with the band. It's Cranston East. Yes. So for Rosie Taylor and myself, that's the first Friday Night Blitz. We'll see you back here every Friday night from here on out throughout the fall. Here's the Cranston East band to wrap up our opening segment.